Guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you briefly how we clean off our stove glass in the morning, and then we're going to get right to it, test one of those fire starters that we made for Christmas, see how long it burns. And at the end of the video, I'm going to put one of those fire starters to work and show you how I start my fire. This is how I clean off my stove glass before we light it. This was on last night. It's not too bad, but instead of taking out a razor blade, I just get a wet paper towel. You want to do this when the glass... The ceramic glass is not hot. It could be a little bit warm, but you need to be careful. You don't give it a thermal shock and crack the glass. I don't get too worried about these edges. A little bit of haze after the stove is on for the day. We'll get some of that anyway. So I've got my little Christmas fire starters. I want to show you guys how to light these and how long they burn. The wax side stays on the top. I usually light it at the bottom. Wax starts to melt a little bit. I'll throw a timer on this and fast forward it, and we'll see the actual time towards the end of this part of the clip. Don't forget, if you want to skip through all the boring stuff, you can go right to the chapters in the description. If you're new to the channel, a good portion of uh, what I do is maple syrup making. So if you're interested in becoming a backyard maple syrup maker, check out the rest of my videos. We do a little bit of everything, how to tap trees, what tools you need, how to set up an evaporator, and how to filter or not filter your syrup. And of course, how to can your syrup once it's made, so you can give it away. All right, I'm going to slow it down now and see where we end up. Nine minutes and 51 seconds, not too bad. So it's shoulder season right now, not really too cold, so I do it a little bit differently. I don't get too stressed and worked up. I put a couple of pieces in front to back, and then I'll take a couple of uh, dry pieces of uh, kindling. A lot of the stuff that I have, some of it's really punky, but it's very dry. I've got a lot of that old standing dead oak. So I'll throw a couple of pieces right on top, and then uh, let that catch. Leave the door ajar just a little bit. I'll go get my coffee going, come back, and I usually have a nice roaring fire going after that. Of course, when it's really cold, then I throw a lot of kindling in there. I want to get that uh, stove pipe heated up nice and fast so you don't get any creosote buildup. But this is uh, just a simple way of doing it when it's not too cold and I'm not worried about how long it takes. One of the things here that's interesting, when I did this, I did not have the uh, vent open. Get rid of that lighter there, not a good place for it. And when I pulled the vent open, you could see that fire starter really start to wick. It wasn't really doing much for the first couple of moments. But once that uh, vent was opened up and that chimney started to draw off, the fire starter really to, started to do its thing. And that's the vent being open right there. All right, guys, once again, I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying this. And uh, stay safe, stay warm this winter. And we'll see you on the next one.